Championed by Abraham Lincoln, the 1862 Morrill Act laid the groundwork for land-grant institutions such as the University of Arkansas. These land-grant universities would provide education for all. It would provide a link between the once remote outpost of research. 1862 Morrill's Act, initiation of land-grant pattern in USA. 1887 Hatch Act. 1914 Smith Lover Act. 1960, the first agricultural university emerged in India based on land-grant pattern with three mandates, teaching, research and extension. Dana bhaiyo, mujhe hai bulaya, kehte hai udghaatan karne. Asal baat to ye hai, ki hum is place me pade hai, udghaatan kisi imarat ka nahi kare, ki hum apne ka udghaatan kaise kare. G.B. Panth University of Agriculture and Technology, Pantnagar. Since then, the university has lived glorious 60 years. But now, what is the way ahead? Where to lead towards in the light of grassroots realities, shifting perspectives, the global challenges and demands of the future? I use this opportunity to uh, brief on uh, the institutional capabilities uh, meet the challenges of uh, our present times. G.B. Panth University of Agriculture and Technology uh, is the first agriculture university that very well known. It played a great role in promoting green revolution in India. And also, that's one part of it that in the service of the nation, uh, for the food security, I think uh, this university uh, has done a tremendous job and creditable work. If that is so, in the present context, with the times that we are now facing, what is its uh, future challenge and how we are managing that? The institutional responsibility uh, today is seen in two ways by us. One is uh, in producing the uh, trained students as a uh, future citizens of India who are very well educated in agriculture, technologies in every sphere and they serve the nation in different areas. To that extent what we find is uh, being even the first university, we have uh, uh, to increase the number of students that uh, we can uh, teach and produce. So far almost 40,000 students uh, have passed from here. But when we look at the annual turnover, it is uh, uh, hopelessly low. Uh, by any standards, Pantanagar should aim for the future that uh, uh, in coming 20, 25 years, it should have almost 25,000 students. It's one of the challenges we face. Uh, Infrastructure-wise, uh, uh, it has a lot of things. It will need few things. I think uh, we are one of those fortunate institutions where uh, uh, even now, uh, there is a large uh, uh, force of uh, teaching community that can handle almost 10,000 students very easily. But our problem is with hostels, uh, uh, with delivery systems and others. So this challenge uh, we have taken up and we are planning how do we go in a process-wise way, increasing numbers first up to 5,000. We are already 4,000, adding 1,000 more. From this year onwards, the process has started. I hope that in next five years' time, this institution will have 10,000 students and aiming at 25,000 at any best time. Second most important thing of the university is that it's service uh, in research areas. It's institution uh, that uh, we normally characterize as a national agriculture university uh, with the uh, state character or you can say it uh, in a different way that it is a state university with a national character. State university in terms of uh, its uh, administration and mandate that it is a University of Uttarakhand uh, state. However, it's a research service in the form of producing seeds and that's uh, very much uh, wanted by uh, seed uh, uh, producers uh, and farmers almost all over in North India. 
And with that kind of service, I think we have a challenge. One, to maintain that service of almost 6,000 quintals of seeds, uh, quality breeder seed and foundation seed going further for production. So it comes to a large amount of uh, seed base that we provide. So it's one of the pillars of uh, continuing food grain production in India. And this industry is doing their job in a very satisfactory way. However, our problem is that uh, uh, for this reason that we were focused on one side, the service to hill farmers has been negligible. Partly because uh, that was not in its mandate earlier, and uh, partly that we had uh, research programs uh, largely tuned to national service. But in this process, uh, our weak point uh, has been uh, serving the hill farmers of Uttarakhand. This challenge uh, is now being taken seriously. We have to change our whole research focus in that sense, make new programs. Uh, hill farmers' problem is that they don't want uh, actually only seeds, but they would need new crops for the kind of uh, uh, land, cropland they have, rain-fed areas. We have not prepared ourselves to serve farmers who depend on rain-fed cropland. The university recruited new deans and directors in 2020. Let's look into the purview about the future of the university. College of Agriculture was the first college of the university, which contributed immensely in ushering green revolution. Now, what are the priorities of the college to remain equally vibrant and relevant? We want to emerge as a hub of seminal researches such researches which are multidisciplinary in nature. We want to get into a multidisciplinarity. That is, we want to generate a synchrony, a symbiosis between multiple disciplines, economy, horticulture, vegetable science, even social sciences, economics and communication extension, merging together, forging together to create wonderful research projects and then aligning with other colleges also, the fisheries, the veterinary, the agribusiness segments, the technology, the home science, forging bonds between multiple institutions and emerging. This is one of the aspect and priority on which we are emphasizing upon. This is one of the aspect on which college wants to work. Excellence. The only mantra is excellence. Each one has to contribute. We all, whosoever there into this college periphery, everyone has to get hand to hand in contributing best possible contributions. Excellence in teaching, excellence in educational technology, excellence in pedagogical approaches, excellence in researches, excellence in vision, excellence in futuristic approaches that will emerge, excellence in forging relationships with farmers, with entrepreneurs, those who are there across and who come to us to get solutions, excellence and utmost feeling of contribution. This is the mantra for tomorrow. College of Veterinary and Animal Sciences also came into being in the beginning with thrust on breeding, feeding and management of livestock and poultry. Ahead 2020, what is the vision of veterinary and animal sciences in future? This college was established along with the inception of the university in 1960. As far as the instructor dairy farm is concerned, there is a need to establish a milk parlour so that milking of the animal may be finished within a few hours only. And for that we are seeing this number of the, the labour is engaged and the production cost of milk goes high. On the same time, there is a need to establish a separate livestock farm for the Indian breed of the cattle like Giri, Red Sindhi and Badri. Then there is also need to produce the pure bread bull, frozen semen and A2 category milk. Production of the vermicompost, earthworm, collection and the distillation of the urine may be an, another step to enhance the income. The College of Home Science 
emerged to look into the thrust and priorities of farming systems, especially farm women. The college emerged as a center of advanced studies in aligning disciplines. But looking into the shifting priorities of the era, the college has to reorient its futuristic strategies. At present, uh, Home Science College of Pantnagar is standing at uh, first place in India and uh, we are having very good infrastructure at present but we want to update it so that can also be done with the help of the funds available that is we want to generate we need to generate through our various activities as I just told you that through the diploma so online offline diploma and certificate courses and also through the research projects etc we want to upgrade our research work or we want to strengthen our research of the students and also for the uh, you know, uh, this uh, faculty. Therefore, we are trying to uh, plan and execute some uh, research projects which can be funded by reputed national and international funding agencies so that the infrastructural facilities can be created into the college better facilities can be created, quality research can be done and along with the, the, this the students research at the MSc and PhD level can have a better insight regarding this. The disciplines of agricultural and civil engineering were established to supplement the thrust of agriculture. Later, multiple disciplines like electrical, mechanical, production, computers, information technology were added to make a full-fledged college of technology which emerged as a center of repute. Uh, to provide them a quality education, we need to have world-class laboratories. So for that, we are developing, we are buying, purchasing the latest equipment so that they can uh, have the best of uh, equipments for uh, their practical experiences. As we want to give them a good exposure, we are also um, uh, motivating or we are also mobilizing our uh, eminent alumni and we have formed a strong group of alumni, uh, alumni so that they can guide them and they can uh, tell them about their experiences. We, in near future, we are also planning to organize some expert lectures uh, uh, with the alumni who are holding a very eminent post. So our ultimate goal is that our students, they make a mark on the world map. So for this, our faculty and uh, our students both are working together hand in hand to achieve, to take our institute to an another level and to mark a, uh, uh, to mark a spot on the world map. College of Basic Sciences and Humanities was the point of essential basic courses for all the disciplines which grew with disciplines like Biotechnology, Microbiology, Plant Physiology, Biochemistry, Environmental Sciences and others. Uh, well, as Dean College of Basic Sciences, my objective, my dream is to convert this College of Basic Sciences into College of Interdisciplinary Sciences. Uh, as you know that this college was established way back in 1960 with the inception of this university and at that point of time it has a very important, a very crucial role to play, a very crucial role to play in the whole scheme of things. But uh, slowly during the last six decades somewhere, somehow this college got converted from the College of Basic Sciences to the College of Supporting Sciences. What I'm trying to say is that uh, it could not retain the actual role which it was supposed to play during our journey in the last 60 years. So my job here is, or my dream here is, that I want to convert this college into a College of Integrated Sciences. And if we look uh, deeply into the structure of the university, this is one of the colleges which has a potential to be truly converted into the College of Interdisciplinary Sciences.
it has a perfect amalgamation of physical sciences as well as biological sciences a perfect combination for innovation so that's what we try to we are trying to achieve a very important aspect of farm occupation was fisheries and college of fishery sciences emerged to look into the thrust and possibilities of fisheries as a prospective occupation for farming community college of fisheries under devi pant university of agriculture and technology was the first fisheries college established in 1984 it was first in north and central india presently the college is catering to the needs of train technical manpower at graduate and post graduate level in fisheries and aquaculture disciplines it is also fulfilling the demand of seed of uttarakhand up and adjoining states even farmers is farmers from nepal are taking seeds from our fish hatchery this uh, the main focus of this college in near future would be to produce market ready having good skills in various disciplines students so that they can go uh, to the market or to the field or they can start their own enterprises uh, one of the main aim is also to start fish farm advisory service that will provide a dedicated platform to the fish farmers where they will be able to put their grievances their problems and they uh, may be solved online through various uh, various means immediately and or uh, Uh, throughout day and night and we uh, in that service a decision support system would be available for the farmers where uh, they can search uh, their solutions the solutions of their problems and the focus of land grant pattern was a basis of researches research for education research for extension viable perspective and demand driven researches we know that the pantnagar university is known as harbinger of green revolution and it is rightly known as harbinger of green revolution because this university has developed so many varieties of the different crops and so many technologies which has helped to bring the green revolution in the country more than 12 varieties of the agriculture in the indo-gangetic plain and due to this mechanization not only the efficiency improved but the productivity of the farm has also tremendously improved that is the policy related research this is one area which we have recently introduced and this area has been introduced keeping in mind that there that there should be input of the university related to the agricultural policies those are those are being framed in the state of uttarakhand leading towards the ultimate task transforming farming community through intervention of agri innovations and aligning technologies it was the mandate of agricultural extension so directorate of extension is established in 1962 and since then uh, we have been uh, working uh, for uh, the technology dissemination uh, towards the farmers uh, but uh, slowly and slowly as uh, the technologies are advancing uh, we are uh, taking them to the farmers to make them understand through uh, the demonstrations through uh, the uh, skill development trainings and uh, and by uh, and the, the, the other focus of uh, the directorate is also to see the technologies uh, feasibility on to the uh, on to the 
district or at the farmers level. So for that we use this uh, on-farm trials. So uh, the other focus of the directorate, uh, having seen this COVID-19 uh, pandemic, uh, we will be focusing our efforts uh, for the entrepreneurship development uh, uh, for the farming community and also for the people uh, who are coming uh, from the uh, outside of the state. Uh, so we will be uh, we will be uh, thinking of using those technologies which are good. Uh, which can be uh, quickly disseminated to these people uh, and uh, they could be uh, enriched uh, with the uh, uh, knowledge uh, of uh, that particular technology uh, uh, so that they can uh, start their own uh, business uh, uh, at the maybe at the smaller level. Uh, so this is uh, what uh, our approach is going to be. The thrust of Pant Nagar is to generate capable professionals through training the students in research during master's and PhD studies. The university is known for calibered postgraduates of Pant Nagar. The College of Postgraduate Studies was established in 1963 with initiation of the master's in 12 departments of agriculture and basic sciences and subsequently in 1965, the PhD program was initiated. At present, the College of Postgraduate Studies offers MSc in 65 department disciplines and PhD in 52 departments. The postgraduate research, the funds will be developed through the various means, particularly by establishing the postgraduate research piggy funds through the donations, support from the various stakeholders, industries, corporate sectors, and general public. It has been tremendous 60 years. The university is committed for a vibrant and excellent future ahead with utmost sincerity and dedication. And also kind of uh, mixed farming crop and livestock, how to sustain the farm economy on those farmlands is our challenge. With these two, three things, uh, I think we are preparing as uh, a leading institution in terms of uh, quality and also with COVID, the post-COVID, the uh, whole Corona uh, scenario has taught us one thing that we have to be prepared for a big change from uh, classroom into uh, meeting the exigencies of time into online t uh, 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 imparting of courses and even examination one day. So uh, this is a new dimension that we have added. So I'm quite hopeful with the team of uh, colleagues that I have now a uh, job, it's already been conveyed. In terms of academics, university needs to prepare to expand uh, number wise and quality wise, change our whole uh, uh, system of uh, uh, dissemination of courses, teach, uh, te teaching systems into uh, different kinds of modes with numbers, that's very important. As I said, uh, we will like to strengthen our services that we give to farmers, that's on seed technology. Uh, while we are uh, giving good service on producing seeds, it's equally important that we maintain our research uh, on the ground level here in the university to keep on producing new uh, seed uh, varieties to cope with the emerging problems of diseases and climate change. That also is going on and this is an area that we need to strengthen further. We are continuously on to that effort. A new effort is on head agriculture, transforming head agriculture or improving its uh, uh, whole uh, efficiency. I will not say productivity because efficiency in terms of economic security that hill farmers can have uh, from the farming sector. This is a challenge for which institution was not prepared so far. And we are preparing others and uh, I'm quite hopeful that with the team of scientists that's working on it today, uh, we are going further. Last of all, probably the most uh, difficult, uh, painful thing is that uh, transforming the institution into a kind of university that depends not only on government funding, but it generates its resources in a way that uh, we are able to say, well, you pay this much, but we can sustain for most of our expenditure. This has been an area that Pandranagar, uh, Pandranagar already uh, has areas where uh, it uh, has its own income. And it's good enough income by that standard, but its uh, expenses are also same. But if it has to grow as a come up as a global university, a university with the uh, high credibility nationally, internationally, then uh, probably we have to learn to raise our own income quite a bit. Uh, we are working on those things. I'm uh, hopeful that my colleagues will 
uh, who have been already briefed on these things will come up to my expectations in delivering these dreams. Thank you very much. Remaining relevant is our utmost priority. With our students, our faculty and our farmers, we are committed to retain the food and nutritional security of the nation.